we evolve as human race, but more than anything else, is to remind ourselves that we are part of life and that the truth is that without us, this world that we live on will flourish. So we must remember that we are nothing because within the nothingness lies everything. To honor our position individually is to honor ourselves as a whole. And I think that's why it's so beautiful and so important to come together because it reminds us of who we truly are. And the truth is that we are all and everything all at once, not just as humans, but as everything. And I think that's the beauty of life, that there is no walls. There's only walls between us if we put them up. And what kind of limitation that is. Thank you. Thank you, Shabnam. I'd like to now call on one of our guests if, and ask if they are open to participating. Emmy, would you um, be open to a question for Table Topics? I couldn't hear you. Yeah, and I became a member. Okay, right. perfect. Oh, you're a member. Congratulations. You're Thank in you. for a, a ride. Thank you. Now, I'm going to give you a nice question because you're a new member. Um, you are speaking, imagine, you're speaking in front of 10 strangers in Laguna Beach, and you have one to two minutes to persuade them to work together to a common goal. What would you tell them? Okay, so I would tell them each of us has an opinion, an idea. If we all put, if we put all these ideas together towards a common goal, then it's better than just one person. And then each idea can participate and becomes a collaboration of ideas towards that, to, towards achieving that goal. Thank you, Emmy. That was, a, that was a great answer to a very tough question. Uh, I'd like to now call on soon to be DTM, Scott. What does the power of coming together mean to you? Um, it usually means better ideas. Whenever I've worked in a group, I always find that you get better ideas than if you're just working individually. And even if you have came up with some, some relatively good idea to start with, if you let it float around the room to, to a bunch of other people, it just gets improved on and, and gets ranked up as you go. Uh, I've never had a case where working in a group where the ideas went downhill, they always seem to lift things up. It, it was something we had to work on a bit as engineers because it's typical for engineers to say, well, that can't work because of something and, and to be kind of cut things down. And it went to the point where we actually got an improv uh, teacher to come in to teach us to say yes and this, and to, rather than to shut something down to take an idea and build on it. But with that thought, I, I've, I've always found that working in a group always brings out better ideas and I've enjoyed it a lot. Back to you. Thank you, Scott. Now, at this point, I would like to ask for our timers report to make sure everyone qualified. I was tallying up the, the times. Okay, so there are some who have qualified and there are some who have not qualified. First, I myself, Derek, have qualified from a timer standpoint. Dean qualified at one minute and 40 seconds. Shabnam qualified at one minute and 21 seconds. And here are those who have not qualified. Raquel came in at 45 seconds, Amy at 28 seconds, and Scott just missed it at 58 seconds. Oh, please. So again, <laughs> those who qualified, Derek, Dean, Shab and Shabnam, all qualified. Thank you. Now I would like to ask 
on our grammarian, Ray Kel. Um, did everyone use the word of the day? Unfortunately, um, table topic master, no. Uh, Derek used the word of the day, and Dean used the word of the day. Out of all that qualified, back to you, table topic master. Thank you. Lastly, I would like for all of you to please vote for your best table topic speaker and send your votes to our vote counter, which is Scott right there. And I would like to now pass it back to our Toastmaster, Todd Brooks. Thank you, Mario. Uh, so we would like to now go to the third part of the meeting, which is our general evaluator. For the evaluations, basically the three evaluators evaluate the three prepared speeches for today's meeting. So now I'd like to introduce Val Lima. Val, can you please welcome us to the third and final part of our meeting tonight? Looks like you're on mute there. Yeah. I appreciate that. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Toastmaster, uh, fellow Toastmasters and guests. This is the third part of our meeting in which we're going to evaluate speakers that we had earlier today. Uh, and I am going to present uh, my evaluation of the meeting once it's all concluded. Um, I have some amazing functionaries that are helping me here uh, for the evaluation of